what's up welcome back to my channel so i wanted to do a new year's eve makeup look and i was thinking of what type of look to do like a gold glittery eye was obviously one of the top on my list but i feel like that's like a popular look that a lot of people are gonna do anyway so i decided to do something a little different and go for a black glittery smoky eye I was going to do a matte black eye, but then I remembered I already have a matte black eye, which I will link in the description box if you want to check out the matte version of this. I'll link some of my other videos that I've already done below that will be good for a New Year's Eve type of look as well. So you can check them ones out if the black smoky eye is not your thing. So if you want to see how I get this whole look, then please keep watching. So I've already just primed my eyes and I'm going to go straight in with my eyeshadow. I'm taking the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to start with Burnt Orange. I still want to keep a bit of warmth in the crease because obviously the lid is going to be black. I like to keep a little bit of warmth in the crease. So that's why I'm starting with this shade. Just because that is that nice kind of mid-tone warm shade. So I'm just using as a wee bit 228 brush and working this in the crease. And for a little bit more warmth, I'm taking the shade Sienna and I'm just going over this to add a little bit more. I just love this shade, shade Sienna anyway. So any opportunity I get to use it, I will. And I'm also gonna take some of this shade Mulberry and I'm taking a smaller brush. This is a blank canvas brush, E42. So it's just a smaller fluffy brush. I'm gonna more so just define the crease with this shade. So this will help kind of the black blend into the rest. So for my lid, I'm taking this Natasha Denona cream eyeshadow. It's called Chroma Crystal Top Coat. So it's this black one with a little silver kind of reflex to it. Just taking this flat fluffy brush from Tarte. Oh, okay. It has more pigment in it than I thought it was going to have. So I'm just going all over the lid. Sometimes when I'm doing my eyeshadow, it looks good. And then when I look back on it, I'm like, I could have went higher on that. So now I'm going a little bit higher than what I usually would. So you can really see it. And I'm just going to quickly do the other side. And now on top of that, I'm going to take some of this glitter from NYX. This is the gunmetal glitter and I'm going to press this on top just to add extra sparkle. Now I have not used this eyeshadow glue before but I'm going to try it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter adhesive. So I'm going to put some on my brush and just press it lightly over the lid. And then going straight into the glitter. So it just adds that little bit of extra dimension to that. It doesn't like take away from the colour of it either. So I'm just gonna coat my top lashes with mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs mascara. I'm just gonna put my lashes on now. These are Lily lashes in the style Ella. So I'm just gonna prime with this Lancome primer. It's the Prep and Hydrate Illuminating Primer. I've used this a few times now and I really, really like it. I like the formula of it. It's like a gel formula when it goes on and it's not drying or anything like that. So I really, really like it. For my foundation, I'm gonna mix the two Makeup Forever foundations together. The first one is the Ultra HD Stick Foundation, which I just like to on first and then with the liquid what I like to do with the liquid is put this on my beauty sponge like one little dollop at a time and then just mix it on the skin you could do it with brushes too if you just use brushes just put some of the liquid foundation on the brush and then blend it on the skin that way I just like to mix these two because the stick gives really nice coverage. Liquid foundation has a bit more of a satiny finish, so it's not too dewy looking. I'm in the mood today for a more of like a satin type of finish. 
the highlight i'm taking my huda beauty concealer i'm just gonna highlight with this just do under my eyes and then just down along my t-zone and then using the same beauty sponge to blend this out this beauty sponge is from ofra they're like my favorite ones they're very very similar to beauty blender i'm gonna take my hourglass translucent powder and i'm gonna use this to set my t-zone and i'm gonna use the beauty sponge again for this and just press it underneath the eyes. It just like really melts the powder into the skin so it doesn't go too powdery looking. And I find that I don't crease as much with this. It gives a really, really nice finish to the skin. And whatever extra is left, I'm just gonna press it around the rest of the face because I'm gonna bronze and contour it using powder products. I don't want my skin to be too dewy. Otherwise the powder will just stick in weird places that you don't want. So I'm gonna warm up my skin with my medium deep mineralized skin finish powder from MAC. I'm just using a smaller brush first. This is a Morphe M530 brush, just to kind of help with the placement. This is a really good size for getting around your cheekbones. So I'm just gonna warm up like the outer parts of my face. I'm not gonna contour really too much with this because it is warmer. I don't want it to look too orange. I had to wear a hat and a wig today because I was just way too lazy to make any type of an effort with my real hair. So now I'm going to take my Tantastic Bronzer from Marc Jacobs because this is a little bit cooler. I use this to contour my cheekbones. Because as I said, if I contour too much with the bronzy shade, it would just go too orange. Today I'm going to add blush as well because I'm going to do a nude lip with this eye so I think adding a little bit more colour to my cheeks will be a benefit. So I'm going to take this one from Marc Jacobs, it's called Flesh and Fantasy. So just adding a little bit of colour. So I'm going to finish doing the underneath of the eyes. I'm taking my Marc Jacobs liner, this is the shade Blacker. So it's really extra, extra black. And I'm gonna apply this to my lower lash line and also in my waterline. So I'm just gonna do my lash line first. So basically just like along where your lashes grow out from. And it doesn't have to be neat because we're gonna smudge it. So once you have something like this, I'm gonna take a small shader brush, something around this size and blend this black out. You want to do one eye at a time because this eyeliner sets because it's water resistant so it doesn't give you a huge amount of time to play with the product but it'll give you enough time if you do one eye at a time. And now I'm going to go back in to do my waterline. I'm gonna take a bit of the shade Noir first, just on the same little shader brush. I'm just gonna go over the black. And then I'm gonna take more of the shade Sienna with a little small blending brush and then blend this out. Just so you don't have that like harsh black line. So just take your time doing this, just pick up a little bit of shadow at a time and just softly blend it out. You can always go back and add more black if you need to. But I'm just gonna blend first. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the black and go along the lash line. I'm gonna highlight with Rodeo Drive, as always, because I always have an excuse for why I need to be extra glowy, but it's New Year's, so you have to be extra glowy. So to finish this off, I'm going to do my lips. I'm taking Strip Down Pencil from MAC. I'm going to use this to line my lips. And then I'm going to take Cherish Lipstick. So that's it. This is our finished look. I feel like this is like such a good eye look to go with pretty much any outfit. Whether it's like a dress, jeans, like a jumpsuit, whatever you're wearing and any colour. 
this will go with pretty much everything. I also got a lot of requests to do a red lip makeup look, but I just did one, which is my classic Christmas look. I'll link it below and you can check that one out too. Because that look that I did is also a pretty versatile and look that will suit anyone as well. So be sure to check that one out if you're a red lip type of gal. Anyway, I wish you all a happy new year and I hope 2019 brings you lots of happiness, lots of fun, lots of love and everything that you want. And I will see you in 2019.